हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू आवर यूट्यूब लर्निंग चैनल एक्यूरेट ए एस एम ई आई एस ओ इन दिस वीडियो वी शेल टैकल सम कॉमन क्वेश्चन अबाउट जी डी एन टी स्पेशली अबाउट द डेटम्स वी शेल डिस्कस हाउ मेनी डेटम्स यू नीड वेदर इट इज वन टू और थ्री यू शेल गेन ए क्लियर अंडरस्टैंडिंग of how datums relate to assembly and the function of mating parts we shall also cover inspection methods for hole patterns including traditional gauging and cmm techniques if you have not already please subscribe to our channel and share this with your friends let us get started first let us look at a case where all three datums are specified the drawing shows a pattern of four holes they have a position tolerance of 0.4 diametrical tolerance zone and are measured at maximum material condition from datum a datum b and datum c here the primary datum is a flat plane secondary datum is the axis of center hole and the tertiary datum is the center of a slot each hole is constrained in 6 degrees of freedom as shown in the image once the part is set in the datum reference frame with x y and z axis each hole is positioned within a tolerance of 0.4 this circular tolerance zone is shown here the nominal axis of each hole can move freely in the x and y linear direction and can rotate about the z axis it is important to note that each hole is separately controlled from the x y and z axis with the basic dimensions controlled additionally the axis of each hole can be oriented with the z axis it means datum a controls the perpendicularity of the hole with respect to the plane now let us compare the three datum reference system to a single reference datum in this given example we shall see how a rectangular pattern of holes can be defined using just one single datum the drawing shows four holes each with a diameter of controlled by a position tolerance of 0.1 relative to datum plane a there are no secondary or tertiary datums available the holes are located relative to each other with basic dimensions datum plane a only controls the orientation of the holes specifically their perpendicularity with the plane to simplify and understand imagine this four hole component meeting with its counterpart which is called a physical datum feature simulator this simulator has a flat plane and four pins precisely located using the same basic dimensions and these pins are oriented perpendicular to the plane in this graphical simulation we shall see how the assembly works with just a single datum which is enough for the design intent of the part and the functional requirement the upper part is produced according to the drawing while the lower part is the counter part simulator used to test the assembly this simulator acts as a functional gauge 
to verify measured parts the upper part rest on the simulator's flat plane and the four holes fit onto the simulator's pin to align all four holes the entire pattern can move freely along x and y axis directions and also can rotate around the z axis about the z axis as shown in this 2d graphical simulation as mentioned earlier a diametrical tolerance zone of 0.1 is the only area where actual hole axis can translate and rotate looking at this view the 0.1 tolerance zone is not just a 2d circular area it extends through the entire depth of the hole forming a cylindrical tolerance zone this zone is perpendicular to datum plane a controlling the orientation of each hole specifically their perpendicularity to summarize the holes in the pattern are located relative to each other using geometric position tolerance and the center distances of basic dimensions they are also oriented with respect to datum plane a therefore all 6 degrees of constraint are applied to the pattern and no secondary or tertiary datums are necessary this case involves controlling the position of a whole pattern using a single datum the datum is plane a in this setup four holes are positioned relative to each other with each hole being perpendicular to the primary datum plane secondary and tertiary axes of the datum reference frame are established by constructing lines between the holes allowing for formation of mid lines this ensures that all 6 degrees of freedom are fixed making the single datum sufficient to control the whole pattern effectively let us discuss now measuring of whole pattern using a three coordinate measuring machine first measure datum plane a and do primary alignment in axis z direction measure all four holes and construct lines between them create middle line and do secondary alignment in axis x direction do the origin to one of the holes may be to located at lower most left corner please note that for functional verification of the whole pattern a base fit alignment is performed using numeric data or cad files this approach ensures that the holes meet functional requirements and fit correctly in their intended application
Hope that, you have liked this video, with very easy and simple explanations. You can comment how do you see this initiative and suggest more on upcoming videos. Also we are pleased to conduct training programs at your locations in factories. We offer Acom Germany, an international CMM certification course. Basic of GDNT. Advanced GDNT. Stack up tolerances. Surface finish. MSA and other quality tools. For further details, please contact us. And I'm sure you will encourage the initiative of training through YouTube, by subscribing a channel. Accurate, ASME, ISO. Thank you and have a good day.